The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is the best space observatory out there. It wants to figure out our solar system and those planets way far away. Plus, it's checking out the cool stuff that makes up our universe, trying to see where we fit in. Recently, some scientists aimed the JWST at a star about 120 light years away. Guess what? It looks like they found stuff with carbon in the air of a possible water world. Crazy, right? This is a mind-blowing peak at a planet super different from anything we have here. It makes you wonder if there are other livable planets out there. So, let's check this exoplanet out and see what it's hiding. Want to stay in the loop about the latest space news? Subscribe, like, share, and hit that notification bell. NASA's JWST made a big find on exoplanet K2-18b, which is like 8.6 times bigger than Earth. What's so cool? They spotted carbon stuff like methane and carbon dioxide in its air. This backs up earlier clues that K2-18b might be okay for life, with lots of hydrogen in the air and water on the surface. The Hubble Space Telescope first took a look at this planet's air, which helped us learn a lot. Just so you know, K2-18b is super far, like 120 light years away, in the LEO group of stars. It goes around a chill dwarf star named K2-18 inside the safe zone. Planets like K2-18b aren't that common. They're bigger than Earth, but smaller than Neptune. We don't have any like it around here. Scientists are super interested because K2-18b might have a bunch of carbon and a hydrogen air layer. Some experts think these planets are good spots to look for life. The methane and carbon dioxide, without much ammonia, hint that there could be an ocean under all that hydrogen air. Some studies even say they might find dimethyl sulfide there. That's something life on Earth makes, mostly from sea plankton. But, who knows? Gotta get better confirmation from the JWST to see if there's a good amount of dimethyl sulfide on K2-18b. One astronomer from Cambridge said that even though K2-18b is in the habitable zone and has carbon stuff, it doesn't mean there's life there. The planet size, about 2.6 times Earth's, could mean it has a thick, icy core like Neptune, plus a thin hydrogen air layer and an ocean surface. Water might be there, but maybe it's too weird to support life. But hey, the researchers did get the most detailed look at a habitable sub-Neptune planet so far and ID'd the molecules in its air. A Cardiff University dude said they looked at the light from K2-18b star as it shined through the planet's air to do this. K2-18b is a transiting exoplanet, meaning it gets dimmer when it goes in front of its star. That's how NASA's K2 figured out this planet was even there. When this happens, some sunlight goes through the exoplanet's air before reaching telescopes like JWST. As light passes through, it leaves clues that astronomers use to figure out what gases are hanging around. The research team wants to use JWST to back up their finds and grab more deets about K2-18b's weather. At the end of the day, they want to find life on habitable exoplanets. That'd change everything. Oh yeah, the JWST made other crazy finds. Astronomers using the telescope have spotted big, complex stuff kind like smog or smoke in a galaxy way out there. It's the earliest we've seen these things in our universe. These finds out in the cosmos are changing what we know about how the universe works. These things, called aromatic hydrocarbons, were in a galaxy that formed when the universe was like 10% of what it is now. That's wild. These carbon items, found in stuff like petroleum and smog here, are big and made up of tons of atoms. What's cool is they form so early after the Big Bang. The light spotted from this galaxy started its flight less than 1.5 billion years right after the Big Bang. It's super long ago because the universe is around 13.8 billion years old at this stage. And the Webb telescope made it all possible. Can you believe that? Plus, we'll keep making those kinds of observations for almost a billion years more. If we could look even further back, would we notice even more of these items? Maybe at the Big Bang. Until now, Researchers could only confirm the complex items existed in older galaxies thanks to the telescope's higher quality. Now we can check out the nice details and see where these molecules are hanging out. Also, it's weird that the molecules are not all in the same place. SP4 to 1847 is the name of the early galaxy. This galaxy had stars that made tons of carbon and oxygen already, even though it was super young. 
Humanity is getting somewhere in the Cosmic Exploration Network. Let us know what you think. Don't forget to sub and hit that bell to stay updated. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is like the top space telescope right now. It's checking out our solar system, far-off planets around other stars, exoplanets, and the overall structure of the universe to figure out our spot in it. Recently, scientists pointed the JWST at a star system 120 light-years away. Guess what? They found some stuff that hints at carbon-based molecules in the atmosphere of a possible water world way out there. Pretty wild, huh? This planet is super different from anything in our solar system, and it makes you wonder if there are other places where life could exist. So get this, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope made a big find on the exoplanet K2-18b. It's about 8.6 times heavier than Earth. This planet has carbon stuff like methane and carbon dioxide in its air. This backs up earlier ideas that K2-18b could be a good spot for life. It seems to have a lot of hydrogen and oceans. The Hubble Space Telescope gave us the first look at this exoplanet's air, which helped a lot. K2-18b is in the Leo constellation, circling a cooler dwarf star, K2-18. Within the habitable zone, planets like K2-18b that are bigger than Earth but smaller than Neptune are rare around here since we don't have any like that. The idea that K2-18b has a bunch of carbon and a hydrogen atmosphere is getting astronomers excited. Some think these planets could be the best place to look for signs of life. Finding methane and carbon dioxide, but no ammonia makes people think there's an ocean under that hydrogen air. Some initial studies also suggest there might be dimethyl sulfide, DMS, there which on Earth comes from marine plankton. But we need more proof of that. More JWST views should help nail down whether DMS is really there in big amounts. A Cambridge astronomer made it clear that even though K2-18b is in the maybe habitable zone and has carbon stuff, it doesn't automatically mean life is there. The planet is 2.6 times bigger than Earth, so the core could be surrounded by a thick, superpressurized icy layer, kind of like Neptune. Plus, it's sitting under a thin hydrogen atmosphere with an ocean surface. And even though it might have liquid water, the ocean might be too weird or not good enough for life as we know it. But here's a cool thing. Researchers got the most detailed look ever at a habitable sub-Neptune's atmosphere and figured out which molecules were there. Someone from Cardiff University said they did this by watching starlight pass through K2-18b's air. K2-18b is a transiting exoplanet, meaning it dims a bit when it passes in front of its star. That's how NASA's K2 mission noticed it in the first place. When these transits happen, some starlight filters through the exoplanet's atmosphere before space telescopes see it, and that helps astronomers figure out what gases are there. The team plans to keep using the JWST to double-check what they found and get more info on K2-18b's weather. They really want to find signs of life on habitable exoplanets, which would change everything we thought we knew. The JWST has come up with a lot of other things, too. Astronomers using the telescope have spotted complex organic molecules similar to pollutants in a galaxy far away. This is the first detection of such molecules in the universe. Personally, I feel that this situation is both interesting and worrisome, since these findings are changing our comprehension of the universe. These molecules, which are called aromatic hydrocarbons, are large and complex and were found in a galaxy which was only 10% of its current age. The significance of this discovery is that molecules got formed quickly after the Big Bang. Because of the Webb telescope, there will continue to be similar observations for more than a billion years. What would happen if we were able to observe even farther back in time? Would it be possible to find even more of these molecules closer to the Big Bang itself? What's truly is that galaxy was already massive, despite being only a short time age of our galaxy. As we explore the universe, full of knowledge and insight. We are getting a good look at the cosmos, as our cosmic exploration Netrock continues to work hard. Soon enough, there will be more secrets to the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope observations give new perspectives of exoplanets and other celestial bodies. This telescope helps us look in space than before. This gives us mysteries that scientists have been trying to figure out for a long time. The detection of carbon stuff in the atmospheres of exoplanets is opening new ways to study planets that have potential life. 
These compounds, including carbon dioxide, are often related to biological processes here on Earth. The space telescopes has potential to let it examine the atmospheres of exoplanets with such accuracy is a big step forward. It makes it achievable to detect the attendance of basic elements but also complex molecules that could be a sign of life. As our understanding grows, we are getting closer at detecting small signs of life. Other observations from the telescope of the JWST are giving new comprehension of the formation of galaxies. In the future, we can discover more about the formation of new galaxies and what lies ahead.